Sister Girl Tuesday. It is the last Tuesday of November. So as we're getting ready to wrap up our fall slash Thanksgiving holiday favorites, I'm introducing something new. Uh, this is a suit that my cousin actually put me on to. Um, I was a little skeptical at first, at first because the ingredients that are in it, some of them seem like they don't go together. But I was pleasantly surprised that it was actually pretty popping. And you know I only describe popping when it's actually popping. So we know it's true. Um, give this Caribbean pumpkin soup a chance, you guys. I think you'll really like it. It's always great to have soups on board as we're going into the colder seasons, you know, fall transitioning into winter. Uh, it's a really good soup. And it makes a huge batch, so you can freeze some, keep some now, and it'll still taste amazing. So just give this soup a chance, you guys. Keep watching. To get started, go ahead and take one yellow bell pepper and cut it up into some pieces that you wouldn't mind having in your soup. And then follow that up with a large onion, and I used about half of it, and dice that into some good bite-sized pieces. In a pan on medium high heat, you'll take some olive oil and go ahead and add your diced onions and your diced peppers. And then you're going to add one tablespoon of Jamaican curry seasoning and give that a mix. Just really allowing the curry to absorb into the onions and peppers. Once the onions and peppers are softened, go ahead and remove them from the heat. Then in a large pot, you'll go ahead and add three cups of vegetable broth. And then you'll add two cans of washed and drained black beans followed by a can of fire roasted tomatoes, and then one entire can of unsweetened coconut milk, and then one small can of pineapple tidbits or crushed pineapple, and then give everything a good stir. Next, you'll go ahead and add your pumpkin puree. Um, I'm kind of winging the measurements on this one. I would say, if you can, just go ahead and use a whole can of pumpkin puree or as much as you like about that. Next you'll add one tablespoon of lemon juice and then follow that up with your sauteed onions and peppers. Next just take a handful or two or three of some fresh cilantro and add that to the pot. Next you're going to take some uh, dried parsley and the parsley and the cilantro are going to add this nice fresh tasting taste I guess to the soup. Then you'll add two teaspoons of cumin and one teaspoon of salt and stir everything together. Finally, you'll just allow all the ingredients to just come to a boil on the stove top. Once it's come to a boil, you'll reduce the heat and allow it to simmer for about 20 minutes or so. When that's all finished, you will just serve it up and enjoy. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about this Caribbean pumpkin soup in the comments. Thanks for watching.